Short Meetina here once again from shortmeetina.com. Doing a really quick video recap for ticker HMNY. Right now what you're looking at is a daily chart uh, dating back to around April of 2018. So the, the, the chart is only about two months old, but I wanna focus in uh, where I'm pretty much focused. And this is after the stock actually broke a really strong support level of around $2. And uh, it's been nothing but uh, lower lows since then. So I've been doing a lot of videos on ticker HMNY. So uh, folks already know that I'm um, I'm long, right? I think I got in. Well, I'm not going to get into exactly where I got in. But obviously, you know, no surprise, I am underwater. However, the difference between, you know, me being underwater versus um, a lot of other players in the game is that I speak a lot. And if you go to shortmeeting.com or if you become a premium member, I will drill this into your head like a gazillion times, right? Risk reward, risk reward, understanding that when you take a particular trade or some trades need to be looked at as speculative, right? So with HMNY, if you look at some of my earlier videos, I believe I indicated, yes, it is speculation, meaning it can go boom or bust, right? So knowing that, you have to have to cap your downside, right? You have to tell Mr. Market or the stock market, I'm only going to allow you to take so much from me, right? Most new traders, they tend to focus a lot on the potential upside, and that's good. You have to focus on the upside to know whether or not, you know, it's even worth taking the trade. But, you know, you can't get, like, lost in that upside uh, cloud potential, if that makes any sense, right? Uh, a lot of professional traders, right, they focus on their downside. What's going to happen if I am wrong on this trade? And prior to getting into prior to getting into HMNY, those are the questions that I asked myself, right? I said, well, what's the potential upside? And I came up with a number. And I said, well, what's the potential downside? And my downside absolutely was this stock going to zero. So I've already accounted for my risk. So that means that if my trading account is like $50,000, I'm not putting $40,000 of it into HMNY. That's ridiculous because there's a the potential for me to lose all, right? So um, again, I talk about risk reward a lot. So for me, if my trading account hypothetically was around, let's say, $50,000, the most that I would put into HMNY, the most, the absolute most, might be, right, uh, not even, I would say it would be probably anywhere from $1,000 to 1500 That's called risk management, right? So that means, um, well, you should know what that means. I'm not going to get into that too, too much, because that's not the point of this video. The point of the video is, as I indicated in my last video, I think I did one uh, on Friday or Thursday, the point of the video is, if you're on the sideline, there really is no extreme rush to get in. Why? Because HMNY has not put in a floor, it has not put in a bottom, and that's what we're looking for. It continuously puts in lower lows, which means that it's still in a downtrend, and um, it has not found its footing as of yet, right? So let's look here after the stock gap down. We consolidated a little bit, right? I'm pretty sure folks uh, jumped in around uh, around here thinking that the stock was going to pop or this was the bottom. And look what happened, right? After it broke, it consolidated for a couple of days. After it broke that 55 cents low, it went as low as around 40 cents. A lot of folks, I'm sure, around here was like, well, this has to be the bottom. You fast forward, then the stock was sitting at 33 cents here, right? And the theme has remained the same. And I think around here, I said, guys, do not get excited. The stock has not stabilized. It has not put in a low. Throwing in money here, again, although it's complete speculation, it'd be speculation um, on the silly side, for lack of a better way of putting it. Anyway, fast forward to today. And look, we have yet put in another low, right? On above average volume, like people are liquidating. Investors are getting out. The stock can very well go to zero, although I doubt it, I think. I do believe, based on the size of the candles, right, the range, I do believe that we will uh, hit that low pretty soon, but um, I don't know when that's going to be. So sitting at 24 cents, right, just wait. Once the stock stabilizes, you can always jump in. There is no rush, in my opinion, right? The stock is not going to be trading at $5 or $10 next week. That's not going to happen. First hurdle we need to... Uh, to have happen in ticker HMNY is we need the stock to stabilize, meaning it needs to stop putting in lower lows. So what that looks like, 24 should be the low. That's it, it should not go below 24 for a very long time. Then we can conclude 24 cents was the low until that happens. So that means tomorrow if we wake up and then the stock hits 23 cents, that means that it's still going lower and it's not safe to jump in. And that's my opinion. 
So anyway, so we haven't found a footing. However, based on the size and the range of the candles, I think that that low is around the corner. So this video is a bit on the uh, lengthier side. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me at uh, shortmeetina.com. Uh, we're fairly responsive here. You know, the, the objective is we just want to teach people how to trade, right? We don't want folks losing um, their money in the market because the market can be a very dangerous place if you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, head on off to shortmeetina.com and, uh, you know, join us. You know, we've been doing this or I've been doing this for a very long time. So that's it. I need you to do me two things if you like this video recap. I want you to head on over to my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. YouTube channel is Short Mitina. Then I want you to head on over to shortmitina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for the support.